It's long and sometimes winding, but that road always was intended to wind up right back where it started. Here in Oxford, Mississippi, where it all began. I wanted to start by talking a little about what does no one know about Alex? Alex sprang from the womb with a baseball cap on his head. And about six or seven years of age, his left hand morphed into a baseball game. And I would come home after a long day and he wouldn't say, hi, Dad, how was your day? He would say four words every day. Dad, can we throw? When I was in the grocery store and Danielle was a baby, this little old lady comes up and she peeks at Danielle and she looks at her and she said, look at the sparkle in those eyes. You're going to have some trouble with that one and over the years that little old lady has popped into my head a lot of times I remember when you were maybe about 11 came home one day and you said, hey, guess what, Dad? Little Bobby, he wants to marry me. Keep dreaming, honey, it's okay. Another time has passed, coming home from school, just not happy. Guys suck, Dad. She would make me get up in a tux when I was little and force me to marry her. And She had a little girl wedding dress for some reason. I don't know why. But glad that she found Alex to take my place. The first day that we brought him to Oxford, Mississippi, move him into his dormitory, we both left with tears in our eyes, and he left with a smile on his face. <laughs> but it wasn't long until Alex called me and he said, Dad, I've met this really cute girl. And I said, well, who is she? He said, her name is Danielle Bolello, and she's from Dallas, Texas. Two things popped into my mind. First, how in the hell do you spell Bolello? And second, how long is this going? You make my best friend the happiest I've ever seen her. Danielle's a happy person. She's always smiling. But when she's around you, she just has this glow, and it makes me so happy. Danielle would come back from a date night with Alex. And if you've seen the movie Elf, she would burst through the door and say, I'm in love, I'm in love, and I don't care who knows. We love Alex. 
If Danielle and Alex got in a fight, I was the one that was crying. I remember a weird time when I was back in McKinney. Alex actually messaged me. And I was like, yeah, man, it's good to hear from you. And I told him Danielle was still in love with you. When you told me that you were moving back to New York to get Alex and that you couldn't live without him, I was so happy for you. Alex has always been your one and only true love. I can tell you today that I know how to spell Bellello. In 12 years, we all could not be happier. I just feel so blessed for my daughter to be so happy and to be marrying Alex. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Put on then as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassion, kindness, lowliness, meekness, and patience. And above all things, put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. Dear Lord, thank you for bringing all of these dear friends and family safely to Oxford for this joyous occasion. We thank you for the love that Alex and Danielle have found and ask your blessings in their marriage. That they may grow in love, enjoying all the great times and finding patience and understanding. Help them remember that love is not merely a feeling, but it's also a verb requiring good choices, kind actions, and forgiveness. In the name of God, I, Alex, take you, Danielle, to be my wife. In the name of God, I, Danielle, take you, Alex, to be my husband. To have and to hold for this day forward. Better or for worse. Richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish until we are parted by death. Danielle, I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. Alex, I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. All that I am. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. A little bit of time went by. Danielle, you got a little older and I thought you were done with asking about the marriage questions. But I said, oh, life has changes. You never know, you'll meet a whole bunch of new friends. You might even meet somebody from Georgia. He might ask you to get married. And today, my dear, you are living the dream, baby. They obviously have their ups and downs and everything worked out. They have grown so much independently and also together. I have watched you literally treat her like a queen. I've seen you be a great dog dad. But I know in the future, you are not only gonna be a wonderful husband, you're gonna be a wonderful father. You fit in our family so well and we love you so much. And more importantly of how I feel, you are the light of my daughter's life and we love you for that. Love you both so much, and I can't wait to see what this next decade has in store for you. Cheers.
Now that Alex and Danielle have given themselves to each other, I pronounce that they are husband and wife, those whom God has joined together. Let no one put asunder.